Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. So today I bring you guys loot from 100 Brimstone Keys. And I know that this video has been done before on YouTube, so I went the extra mile and I made sure to do every single clue scroll that I got throughout this whole entire video because I know you guys like the clue scrolls. And also I managed to do every single boss task that I was assigned. So you guys are not only going to see 100 Brimstone Keys, but you're also going to be seeing a ton of different loot, whether it be from from a monster or a clue scroll and not to mention that we also started a slayer tab and we got every single drop from every single task in that tab throughout the 50 plus hours that this video took to do so yeah with all that being said let's get started we have a lot to cover all right so first things first a little bit about brimstone keys so they did come into the game just about one month ago from today actually uh, february 7th was the release date and prior to brimstone keys as we all know uh, originally the drops from konar slayer was just just the drops themselves you know no matter what monster you would kill if you hit the drop table then you would receive a random uh, drop that would be noted and that would be pretty expensive and pretty useful now with the exception of a few drops getting removed from the drop table pretty much everything else is virtually the same the only difference is that anytime you're going to be hitting the drop table on your slayer task you're going to be awarded with a brimstone key rather than the actual drops that you would originally get uh, beforehand now one thing that I like about these brimstone keys is that they are are stackable so that you can collect as many as you want and that was why I wanted to do 100 originally you guys know this is a 1000 series but 1000 keys would have just taken way too long to do but who knows maybe in the future as I am going for 200 mil slayer XP so anything is possible at this point I suppose now if you're curious as to the drop rate of the brimstone keys as shown in the wiki and of course in the description below the exact odds of receiving the key scales with whatever the monsters combat level is that you're killing so the higher the level the monster the the better the odds that you're going to be getting a brimstone key from it and also something to keep in mind uh, if you're doing a task that involves using a cannon or using ice barrage or ice burst you know something that's very stackable and fast for example dust devils or smoke devils then you're more likely to be getting a key during those tasks because you're averaging much faster kills per hour and that is just resulting in more opportunities to hit that key drop table so that is something to keep in mind I would say during this video the two tasks that I saw the most keys from was the one that you're seeing here which is Kraken and as you can see we did get a Trident of the Seas full there and the other task of course being Smoke Devils uh, for some reason I just kept getting assigned them a lot and whenever I would get them as a task I would always try to get the ability to get them reassigned by using the Max Cape perk and to my luck it actually happened quite a few times so yeah those were the two tasks that I received the most keys in oddly enough I did have pretty good RNG at tasks like Fire Giants and Greater Demons which are actually pretty low combat but yeah I always seem to get keys uh, during those tasks as well so I guess it's truly just RNG you know different wherever you go I certainly didn't mind it too much when I wouldn't get keys from tasks that were making me a lot of money because at least I'm making money uh, at least I'm getting clue scrolls stuff like that and I do want to say thank you guys a lot for the advice on actually doing the clue scrolls especially when you're on a dry streak from not receiving a brimstone key you know you do several tasks and there's just no key well maybe you get a clue scroll and that can kind of switch it up a bit you can take a break from the grind and you never know what can happen with that I'm still waiting for the day of course where we hit third age but uh, I don't know if that's ever gonna happen but hey maybe through a random loot video we will hit it one day and that will be the day that I will be looking forward to so getting back on track with these brimstone keys you know it seems like every other clip it's a different monster you know and that's the lovely thing about Konar Slayer is that not only is Slayer itself kind of a variety skill and of course when I'm talking about variety I mean that you can kill many different types of monsters all across the game but the thing I like about Konar Slayer is that it limits you to a specific part of the game where this monster might be. Now I know that I went over this in my 30 hours of Konar Slayer video so I won't touch on it too much but essentially anytime that you get assigned a monster you have to kill it in a specific location. So for example if I get assigned fire giants sometimes I'm able to kill them in the Brimhaven dungeon sometimes I'm able to kill them in the waterfall dungeon. There's always these different dungeons and these different areas in the game that have all of the same monsters but you know again you have to go out of your way and it just makes things a little bit different. Now if you're curious as to why I bought an Elijah Spirit Shield at the very beginning of this video, here is the reason why. You know, I consider this to be a pretty damn good investment. The very first rare of the video that is actually worth quite a bit of money, the Armadil chest plate. And this was, of course, from the very first Avian Sea task that we did get assigned to specifically do at God Wars Dungeon. I think the only other Avian Sea place that you could kill them would be the Wilderness God Wars Dungeon, and that would really suck because, you know, there's no Kriara there. So yeah, we did manage to get an Armadil chest plate, and uh, I wanted to buy an Elijah so that 
I could solo Armadil effectively, because uh, I'm really bad at soloing Armadil. I just prefer duoing it, but I didn't really have anyone on to duo with. So yeah, I just kind of stuck with uh, soloing, and luckily for me, that Elijah really did pay off. Not only did we get an Armadil chest plate, but we also got an Elite Clue Scroll and a Hard Clue Scroll. Not to mention we got a Hard Clue Scroll while getting the Ecumenical Key for this one specific task too. So yeah, we were doing clues all over the place. Got about 78k from the Hard Clue, and of course 124k from the Elite. I gotta be honest, you know, I have never seen any good Elite Clue Scroll rewards. I have seen pretty good Hard Clues, but never an Elite. I just wish they would buff them or something. I don't know, I did hear that there is a possible Clue Scroll expansion soon, so if there ever happens to be one, uh, then I will definitely do a loot from 1000 of whatever tier clue seems to be the most interesting at the time. Now, since this is a loot from 100 video and not anything more, not anything less, I figured what better time than now to get 100 million HP XP. Uh, I remember the good old days when they used to call this skill Constitution. But yeah, anyway, 100 million XP later, and of course, another brimstone key to the collection. Uh, really cool to see that, not gonna lie. Wasn't uh, ever expecting to get 100 million HP XP anytime soon, but it was certainly nice to get, and uh, you know, cheers to 200 mil, it's gonna be a while. Now here's two things that I rarely see, and that is uh, Occult Necklace as a drop from these lovely smoke devils, and then uh, while doing this next level 3 clue scroll, I saw these two guys doing whatever that is in the wild. I guess that's considered PKing, but that myth plate body really got me off guard, though, I will say that. Moving on, here we are with another hard and elite clue scroll. You know, some of the times I would try and get both of the caskets at the same time if I just happened to have uh, both of the clues in the same task, which did happen a few times. From the hard, we did receive a Cyclops head and a pirate's hat, both uh, completely useless and worthless, but uh, luckily from the elite, we did grab a magic seed, so that made up for it. Another nice bonus that we did receive during this video was we did complete 1,000 slayer tasks overall and we did get a fat bonus of 900 slayer points if you're curious what I'm going to be using those slayer points for um, after my very big 100,000 loot video I do plan on using all of the slayer points that I have for a Kraken loot video as well as a armadillo loot video where I'll be on task the whole entire time throughout both of those monsters all of the slayer points from this video will come in handy and they will be used uh, for future slayer related videos so that's kind of a benefit uh, of doing these tasks and not skipping or not canceling all of the annoying ones. You know, I did go through with doing some really shitty tasks. I remember the worst task that I did was Blood Velds at God Wars Dungeon. Just a really weird place to be killing Blood Velds, you know? That's all I can really say about that one. Uh, there was also, uh, I think, five Abyssal Demon tasks that I did throughout this video and I didn't receive a single whip, so that was pretty bad luck there. The Kraken tasks were always very generous to me. I believe I got a Kraken Tentacle every single Kraken task, and I even managed to get a few Trident of the Seas, so that was nice to see definitely helps the price check at the end. And speaking of things that are nice to see, here are the lovely ancient wyverns that I killed about three months ago 1,000 times, and you know, they are still pulling through for me even after all this time. Managed to get an elite clue scroll and a pair of granite boots, and on top of that, even a brimstone key. So yeah, this task was great. You know, these ancient wyverns are 210 combat, so a pretty good chance at getting those brimstone rings. They're very AFK, and I got to try out my new dragon hunter lance, which did phenomenal phenomenal, and the uh, kills were insane, so really do regret doing that video uh, without the Dragon Hunter Lance, but needless to say, Fossil Island Wyverns are great for hunting down Brimstone Keys. You know what else is great? Not Dagnath Kings, I'll tell you that much. Look at all of these drops, but yet nothing worth value. We got a Seer Coal, which I don't even know why a Seer Coal still exists. I mean, what am I gonna do? Go shoot someone's magic level down so they can use an imbued heart? You know what I mean? Like, completely useless item. And then, of course, we have the Warrior Ring, which is the same drop rate of the Berserker Ring, but I think the Berserker Ring is 50 times the price of the Warrior Ring, so, you know, quite a, uh, quite a leap there as it pertains to the price, so you, you're more likely to only have a good Dagnath King task if you get an Archer's Ring, a Berserker Ring, hell, even a Seer's Ring. Throw in a Seer's for me and I'll be alright. Nah, I'm kidding, of course. I like Dagnath Kings. The, uh, bones that are noted, you know, it always makes for some profit, so it's not too bad, but anyway, in this clip here, I was, uh, going for Brimstone Keys doing a Dust Devil task, and at the same time, I actually managed to get a few Brimstone Stone keys on my Iron Man while doing a Kraken task. You know, I tried my very best to be on my Iron Man the whole entire time while I was on my main, and I actually managed to get 52 Brimstone Keys on my Iron Man while I got 100 Brimstone Keys on my main. So it just kind of goes to show, you know, the difference in kill speeds and the difference in, uh, you know, time as it pertains to an Iron Man versus a main that has unlimited resources. This clip is a prime example of that, quote, unlimited resources, you know, throwing these ice barrages and cannonballs like they're going 
one out of style, and I actually managed to get four brimstone keys from that one uh, task, so that was really nice. And this is what I mean by doing all the boss tasks, you know, we did get assigned Abyssal Sire, we killed three of those, uh, killed five Alchemical Hydra, and then of course there's this thing. Yeah, sadly, uh, no imbued hearts during the making of this video. You know, all the superiors that I managed to kill on this account, and still no imbued heart. It's crazy. So yeah, as you can see at this point, you know, we were nearing 50 brimstone keys. Uh, I'm noticing that I don't really have a whole lot of clips of banking, you know, looking at the loot tab, but uh, this was the true halfway point, and the luck was certainly continuing. You know, the next task, I did receive 333 dragon knives from a small hydra, not the boss this time, so that was nice to see. Unfortunately, I didn't make a single brimstone ring throughout this whole video, despite having five different hydra tasks and them all being over 150 per task, I didn't get a single brimstone piece. I just had one in the bank and it stayed just at one, so that was kind of sad to see. And something even sadder to see is a Max Main dying at Dagoneth Kings. You know, I don't know how I managed to just not pay attention, but yeah, this is one of those places that you always gotta make sure you have Protect Mage on. You know, you can get away with, you know, not having Protect Melee or Protect uh, Range, but certainly not the magic. I would like to say, though, I did avenge myself. I went back there and I smacked that Dagoneth Supreme with this whip, and I did manage to get an Archer's Ring. You can kind of see why I wanted to get an Archer's Ring so badly. I mean, 5.9 mil? It's insane. Almost as insane as dying twice in a row. It's a good thing that I laugh at my own jokes, let me tell you that much. But anyway, as you can see, we did return and we did get another Archer's Ring. So, you know, that first price check, 7.7 .7 mil from the bones and everything from the first trip, uh, you know, continuing with another 7.5 mil. So it just really goes to show how profitable Dagnath Kings can be. Don't underestimate those dinosaurs, especially with the prices these days. So moving on to more appealing things, here's another hard and elite clue scroll. This time the hard bringing in a nice 600k. Uh, always nice to see an Armadil page or a Zamrock page, even an ancient page is uh, pretty good. And from the elite, of course, nothing, but you know, surprise, surprise. Now here's one of our first untradeable drops uh, during this video, the lovely Chewed Bones. So, you know, one of these uh, rares that you can get from Mithril Dragons. And uh, we actually ended up getting a total of four throughout the whole entire video from Mithril Dragon Tasks. Also managed to pick up 21 million Slayer XP followed by a shield left half from my second favorite task of the video, these lovely smoke devils. And before finishing the task, of course, we get another occult necklace followed by three brimstone keys, so quite the task. And the luck did not stop there, actually. On the very next uh, task, I did receive another shield left half and as well as an elite clue scroll off of these hydras. So that was nice to do some more clues. Got about 67k from the hard, pretty average reward. And from the elite clue scroll, I did receive just about 500 K with another Armadil page 2 coming in and a few dragon pieces as well. After the clue scrolls, I did get assigned another Dagoneth King task at Waterbirth Island and of course we did get a ring. This time though it was the Seer's Ring and with the Seer's Ring and all the bones from that task, another 2.1 mil was made so no complaints with that. Now as I mentioned before, I didn't get any imbued heart during this video but the only one drop that I did get from a superior was right over here and it was a missed battle staff from of course the uh, nuclear smoke devil superior, so that was nice to see. I mean, I wish it would have been something better, but it's cool to at least see a drop. Didn't manage to get anything from the three Vorkath that I killed, but, you know, I did actually get a Hydra's Tail after the Vorkath task from the Hydras once again. I did get them assigned as a task quite a bit. Something that I didn't get assigned too much was Drakes, though, comparatively, and uh, we only did manage to get one drop at the Drakes, and that, of course, was the Drakes Tooth. Something that I wasn't expecting to see, uh, certainly, again, was another pair of Granite Boots. You know, the very beginning of the video we got one and uh, more so towards the end we did get a second pair again from the uh, ancient wyvern another 1.6 mil to the tab and of course following that we did break a four hour dry streak of not getting a brimstone key on this lovely brutal red dragon task you know i actually unlocked the ability to kill these red dragons just because i wanted to see what it would be like to have them as a slayer task and i gotta be honest not too bad it was different but not too bad at all I was virtually using this dragon hunter lance everywhere including guard Gargoyles, maybe it was my good luck charm, you know, got four brimstone keys from that gargoyle task, I even did a black dragon task, uh, got an elite clue scroll which resulted in just about 97k, pretty average reward, and then after that elite clue we did do a hard clue scroll which actually resulted in our first master clue of the video, so I do believe I have all of the requirements for master clues, so just like elites and hards, I'll always do them if I get them, uh, really won't go out of my way for them though because I hate the hot and cold steps, even though I have the uh, guide that shows all the answers, it's just really annoying. So anyways, did get a decent reward from that master clue. And of course, followed by another clue scroll, which we got from Greater Demons this time, our 
159th hard, followed by our 123rd Elite Clue Scroll. Managed to get a royal crown from this one, resulting in about 378k, so that was nice to see. Something unique anyway. And uh, following those clues, we did get another Armadil task, which did result in our second and final piece of Armadil throughout this video. Just a couple dozen kills later, and we did get an Armadil chain skirt. Uh, you know, unfortunately, at this point, I did sell my Elijah because I just needed the money for a Kodai and my Dragon Hunter Lance back, so I was using a Crystal Shield at that trip, and it was very miserable. You know, as shown by this clip, I'm not the most experienced PVMer out there, all right? So yeah, like I said, Elijah really does come in handy for a guy like me, but anyway, it was a fun experience, uh, you know, getting a Bandos task after an Armadil task, and especially getting a, a Brimstone key from Bandos. I never expected that, so it was cool to see. Well, fast forward a very long time, and here we are at 98 Brimstone keys overall. Uh, my second to last task was a rune dragon task which did result in our 99th key and the very last task of the video was fossil island wyverns. I did extend them and that did result in our 100th brimstone key from the lovely ancient wyverns themselves. And at this point I was very relieved. I mean I had finally finished this video. The 100 stack was there. It was uh, tangible. It was visible. It was beautiful. And at this point I just really really wanted to open those chests. But of course we saved the best for last and I did have to do a few things before I was able to open all of the chests. One of those things being I wanted to price check every single item in this Slayer tab that I have been keeping for over a week now. You know this took me over 1.6 mil Slayer XP everything in this tab uh, in order to get these 100 brimstone keys. So I wanted to price check everything just to make sure I knew just how much money I made without the keys. So that if you're not impressed with all of these uh, keys and all the loot from them at least you kind of get an idea of the luck that you can get just by doing Konar Slayer, uh, you know, just by doing Slayer in general, uh, post-99 or whatever your level may be, doing boss tasks or not doing boss tasks, whatever which way you train Slayer. I wanted to just, you know, give you guys an idea of that tab in its entirety, so I price-checked every single item. Maybe I shouldn't have included all of the price checks in this video, you know, probably made it longer than it should have been, but I just wanted to, you know, show you guys uh, every single detail and make sure that you guys uh, saw the numbers for what they were. I mean, at this point, we had price checked pretty much all of the low valued items, all of the clue scroll items, none of the rares or anything valuable. I'd say the most valuable item that was price checked was the DK bones, and we were already at close to 40 mil. And here we go, price checking the more valued items, you know, the occult necklaces, the Kraken tentacles, as well as the trident of the seas and the Miss battle staff. Comes out to be just about 7.4 mil, so we add that to the 38.3, and we get 45.6 mil. Now we pull out all of the very expensive items, all of the rings, the the armadillo pieces and everything in between and it comes out to be another 104 mil. Now again, 86 mil of that came from armadillo, so it's pretty fortunate to get so lucky there. But again, it's all Slayer related and it's all RNG at the end of the day. So 150 mil was achieved from just doing Slayer for 100 brimstone keys. Just insane to see that. Now of course we have these lovely chewed bones. Uh, I did use four and I didn't get anything. but. It's all right. At least we managed to get a few chewed bones in general. All right, so here we are 18 minutes later with the purpose of the video, you know, uh, 100 brimstone keys in action. As you guys can see here, uh, the average reward per key is about 103k. That's what I'm told anyway. I'm also pretty sure that the raw fish uh, scales to your fishing level. So that's probably the only thing that you have to keep in mind when opening these. Uh, the rarest item that you can get from these brimstone chests would be any piece of Dusk Mystic, which is a darker set of Mystic. And as you can see, we did manage to get one piece, which was the Mystic Hat Dusk, which is one in 1,000. So very, very lucky to receive that. Um, all of those pieces are not that expensive in general, so it really wouldn't have mattered if I got any other piece. But yeah, we were able to get uh, one of them, so it was cool to see. And as you can see, after using 100 Brimstone Keys, we were complete, and we did have a full inventory of really nice looking loot, not gonna lie. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, despite Despite this not being as big as some people may have thought, uh, because this did take a while to do, it was still really fun and definitely really rewarding. Uh, obviously, I made a lot more money trying to gather the brimstone keys than I did uh, when using the brimstone keys, but at least you guys have a general idea of all of the items that you can expect from these brimstone chests. Uh, 10.9 mil overall, so rounded up to about 11 mil from 100 brimstone keys, meaning that in 50 hours of Konar Slayer, we made just about 161 mil total 
from 100 brimstone keys. That is awesome. And with all that being said, we are going to go sell every single item in the Grand Exchange right now to see the overall profit. And to conclude, I just want to say one thing. Uh, the drop table for Konar in these brimstone key chests, yes, it's been updated a few times, and it probably won't ever be updated again, let's be honest, but I really think that they should look at the rare drop table. I don't think that it's right to have a piece of mystic be 1 in 1,000 when it is virtually useless. Personally, I just think that adding Dusk Mystic was one of the most pointless things they could have ever done, especially putting it on Konar's drop table as the rarest item. It just makes no sense. But then again, ladies and gentlemen, we always have to remember sometimes in life, things just don't make sense. So with all that being said, I want to say thank you very much. If you watch this whole video, then wow, that's actually impressive. Thank you for taking the time of your day. I hope you enjoyed it. No matter how much you watch, thank you, and I'll see you next time.